There was a man who wanted to inculcate good habits in his three sons. He told them to keep away from bad habits as they spoil not only the mind but also the soul of a person. As the sons grew a little older, they began to acquire bad habits. They found it much easier to follow the wrong path than the path of truth. They started gambling to earn money quickly and easily. The father's heart deeply grieved for them. He wanted his sons to follow the path of truth and sincerity to reach their goals. He did not want them to take any shortcuts in life. One day, he took his sons to a garden. The sons were very puzzled at this. He pointed towards a seedling and asked his youngest son to uproot the seedling. Without much of an effort, he pulled the seedling out from the ground and handed it over to his father. They moved a little further. Then he pointed towards a shrub and asked his second son to pull out the shrub. He tried to pull it out with his one hand but he could not do so. He then used both his hands to pull it out. This time he was successful. Then their father pointed towards a huge tree. He now turned towards his eldest son and asked him, Can you uproot this tree for me? The son said, How can I uproot this strong tree? This tree is firmly rooted to the ground and its roots are so strong that I can't pull it out. Even if I applied all my strength. Their father said, My dear children, I wanted to teach you an important lesson. That is why I brought you to this garden. He continued, When habits are in a formative stage, we will find it easy to pull them out. At this stage, it is easier to leave our bad habits. Once they become deep-rooted, we find it impossible to get rid of them. So, this is the right time when you can quit your bad habits and start practicing good habits. Moral of the story is, the chain of habits is generally too small to be felt until it is too strong to be broken. Please like, share and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.